This is Gaming Through the Ages, and today we are taking a look at Popful Mail for the Super Famicom. Popful Mail is a game that was released for the PC Engine, Super CD, the PC-98, the Super Famicom, and the Sega CD. However, all of these versions are slightly different, whether that be through gameplay elements, through graphics, or even through some elements of the story, the games vary quite a bit. However, they have an overarching plot that remains the same, and the core concept is largely the same. If you are familiar with Popful Mail, you are most likely familiar with the Sega CD version. However, the Super Famicom version differs considerably and was not released in English. It is a Japanese exclusive. In all versions of the game, you play as the bounty hunter male, and you meet up with the characters Tat and Gaw while going after a wizard named Muttonhead in the English translation, who also happens to be Tat's mentor. While the plot can be very melodramatic at times, the characters, both the characters you play as and many of the characters you meet, are fun and quirky and very humorous, which works well in contrast to how dramatic and overdramatic the plot of the game can be. The games are side-scrollers, and the Sega CD and Super Famicom versions specifically are generally regarded as action RPGs. The Super Famicom version has the most versatile moves because you are able to shoot your projectiles in multiple directions and Mal herself has an upward and downward thrust attack which makes hitting enemies a little bit easier than in other versions. That being said, it is difficult to tell when you are hitting the enemies as they don't react to attacks. They continue coming at you and because of this, you can die very, very quickly just from being too close or too near to enemies while you are attacking them. Once you've obtained all three characters and can switch between them on the fly, you find that you can explore more areas of levels, and when you backtrack, you can find hidden secrets and optional areas to explore. Each character also has their own strengths and weaknesses, such as different types of attacks, different jump heights, and different uses for situations. If you die with one character, you cannot switch to another character to continue. It is a game over if you die. Dying also sends you back to checkpoints, which are usually the last inn you saved in as there are towns scattered throughout the levels. But often checkpoints are put in right before boss fights allowing you more leniency, especially since many of the boss fights can be quite difficult. Despite this being an action RPG, there is no leveling up. Instead, you collect points from monsters, which you can then trade in for gold in order to buy improved weapons and armor. Each time you go to a shop, you must change which character you are using in order to see their respective weapons in the stores, which can be confusing the first time you play the game. The game does have some backtracking, although it does not have that many levels, but it can be difficult to tell where to go next. The language barrier can sometimes make it difficult to tell where to go, but this can usually be resolved by some exploration and is not really any more confusing than the actual level design, which can make navigation quite difficult. Graphically, this is one of my favorite Super Famicom games because of the uses of different color palettes and different areas and the use of layering in foreground and background combined with the stylized illustrations and the music, while not entirely memorable, does a good job of setting the atmosphere for many of the stages. Overall, I recommend this version of Pop Full Mail to anyone looking for an action RPG on the Super Famicom, which, although it can be a little confusing and has quite a bit of dialogue, has a fairly low language barrier for newcomers to import gaming. However, if you want the best version of Popful Mail, since the versions are so different, I do recommend the Sega CD version over the Super Famicom version, as it is a more polished experience.